Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 3.4.0, which I'm calling Rise of the Commonwealth 2.0. Now, this isn't a sequel to Rise of the Commonwealth, but instead a major overhaul of the city plans. So thanks to all the folks who worked so hard on the optimization project, we finally have the settlements at a much better spot to allow all of you guys to give them a shot. So I want to give a big shout out to all the people who worked on this project. Cube, Scratched, Viking Baggins, Radio Masson, Afit Tagbo, sorry I butchered your name, Moonbeam, Moostick89, Nobody, Revived, Thorman, Kurt Mantle, uh, and everybody else who's helped test these out. Thank you guys so much. You put in a ton of time over the past six months or so getting these to a, a level where everybody can play with them. And I'm very excited to show off the first one here. Now, while I'm explaining this, I'm going to give you guys a tour of Sanctuary Level 3 in the optimized version. So if you're hoping to avoid spoilers, you might want to minimize this and just listen to me talk. Uh, but if you've already seen Sanctuary Level 3, this will be a great opportunity for you to see what kind of differences to expect if you switch to the optimized versions. So the way we targeted the optimized was to get the settlements down as close to the vanilla build limit as possible without giving up a lot of the flavor that we built into these city plans so that we tried to keep the general design the same so what you'll notice is that we've removed some of the plots we've eliminated some of the tighter details so some of the big piles of items are removed and instead it's just kind of brought it down to its element but otherwise the core of it should look very very similar if not outright exactly the same as you remember in the full-blown version Another thing we targeted was getting the max settlers down to 15, which should have a huge positive impact for Xbox players. Now, overall, the goal was to make sure that no one ever gets locked out of their settlements. One of the biggest problems that people had who were running into issues with the city plans is that there was so much going on that the moment they entered their settlement, their game would crash. So we arranged so that that doesn't happen anymore. Now, you still might see the occasional crash on Xbox or on a lower end PC, but we've never had it happen to where you could never access a settlement again with these optimized builds so to me that's exactly where we need to be obviously if you have a low-end system or you're close to system specs or you, if as you already know xbox players the system never really handled fallout 4 great anyway for example downtown boston was basically unplayable for many of you so our goal was to get it down to a point where you had a chance to use these and see them all without guaranteeing that your save would become basically unusable so you should be in good shape there all of our xbox testers had great luck with these as far as uh, being able to get them all to level three all in the same save they were able to access all of the the city plans and not have permanent crashing so what i would recommend though if you're on xbox or on a low-end PC and you previously saw crashing with these city plans is I would just take it easy I would I would try, pick maybe half of the settlements and do those as city plans and spread them out try not to get too many in a cluster the biggest area where you'll have problems if you build all of the city plans is the sanctuary red rocket Abernathy area having all three of those built at the same time will definitely push your system to its limit um, so I would definitely pick a few that are spread out and start with those and see how you go uh, because if you're if you were crashing previously, uh, you're definitely at risk to still be crashing just because that means your your save might be in an unstable state or your system might just not be up to the task. So if you were having trouble with Rise of the Commonwealth before and you want to give it another go, I would highly recommend picking one of the settlements you were crashing at. Try it again with this optimized build with the plan of keeping a backup save that you can roll back to. Another big plan or option I suggested to people who are struggling with the city plans was to always keep city upgrades on manual. And and that way you can roll back to before you upgraded a city if you were having trouble with it. But again, we went we went crazy with the optimization in these. They should be running infinitely smoother and be a lot easier to use. Um, so you'll notice during this tour of Sanctuary that for the most part, the feel of the place stays the same. It's just got a lot less plots and then certain areas have a lot less detail to them. Now, if you turn off clutter in the performance options and use the optimized city plans, you'll find that in general, you are just barely over the vanilla build limit. Now, obviously, our build limit calculations we have to use aren't perfect because that's not something you can do from Papyrus, but we've got something approximate, and based on all the calculations we've done, we're, we're just barely over the build limits in these settlements so long as you have clutter turned off.
So now, as I said at the beginning of this, the optimized designs are kind of the default now. So if you like the high-end versions and you want to use them despite whatever your system can handle, if you come into the holotape and go under the performance section, so if you go to options and then performance, you'll find that there's a new option called complex city plans. So by default, this will be turned off and the only way it's going to be turned on uh, automatically is if you use the performance wizard and select ultra as your settings. So that will only apply to PC users. It's the assumption that anybody who doesn't have an ultra PC likely can't handle some of the, the complex city plans. So if you want them anyway, or if you, have a, if you have a system that's not ultra and you've already been using city plans with great success and you want to keep using the version, the full-blown versions, just come in here and turn this option on. I would highly, highly recommend if you're on Xbox to never turn this on. There are some players on Xbox One X who have been able to use them all successfully, but on original Xbox or Xbox One S, you're going to want to keep this option off. Now, there's one exception to the optimized city plans, and that is Bunker Hill. Our design is so complex, and the, the amount of build limit that's allowed in Bunker Hill is so low that we couldn't make a meaningful impact on the design. So when that happens, when you have a city plan that is incredibly complex and you have complex city plans turned off, what will happen is that if you try and build that city plan, you'll get a warning telling you that the city plan is excessively complex and there's not a simpler version available for your system and you will have the option to use it anyway, uh, but most of you I would recommend declining. So Bunker Hill, unfortunately, our design is just far too complex uh, and likely would need a whole new design thought from the ground up in order to support the lower end systems and that very well will be something we do in the future, but at this time, uh, that one is not supported as a as a optimized city plan, but all of the others are, including the brand new one, Mechanist Lair. So if, you're, if you've been waiting to use Rise of the Commonwealth for this patch, now is your day. Uh, please go give them another spin and definitely give us feedback if it's still not enough. Uh, I would also highly, highly, highly recommend if you had trouble before, please turn off some of those performance options that I just, in that section I just showed you in the hollow tape. If your system was prone to crashes in the game, it could be your load order. It could be a number of things. It definitely could be the city plans as well. But we have tons of people who have built all of the city plans, especially during this test phase, uh, including the full version and optimized without crashing. So we know the, the code is solid and it's possible to run them. But you never know with all the different combination of mods and settings and hardware out there. It's, it's nearly impossible to get it perfect. So I just want to be clear that you guys should be very proactive with making saves and uh, paying attention to the options you're using when you're using the city plans. Uh, beyond that, we made a ton of bug fixes and improvements to the code. Check out the full patch notes. There's lots to read there. Um, I focused heavily on city plan issues to make sure that they were good, smooth gameplay. I eliminated a lot of issues you guys have been reporting that I hadn't been able to duplicate previously and I now have been able to do so. So guys, I look forward to hearing feedback from you on how this new optimization patch goes and uh, hope you guys get to see all of the city plans at level three. All right, take care and enjoy the month.